Helping elementary students comprehend the meaning of fractions and decimals can be a daunting task. Understanding these concepts can greatly affect their chances of success in middle and high school math. What to do? Take your youngsters on a video field trip to the Emmy Award winning Math Park. Our Fractions and Decimals series provides an introduction for primary students. Latter programs teach more complex curriculum appropriate for intermediate elementary and it's taught with the usual laughter and interactive fun. The eight 12-minute video lessons provide the perfect catalyst for classroom discussions. Here's a sneak preview of how the Math Park's Fractions and Decimal series tackles a solid curriculum. And the best of luck to you. Goodbye. I do not understand what the number at the top of the fraction means. Let me explain it this way. The bottom number is the denominator. That tells you how many pieces there are altogether. You have six pieces of cake. Ah oui, this is true. The top number, the numerator, tells you how many out of each piece. See, it says one out of six should be strawberry. So I should put strawberry frosting on one of these six pieces? That's correct. One sixth of the cake needs to have strawberry frosting. Aha! Uh -huh. And one sixth should have orange frosting. One sixth should have lemon frosting. One sixth should have lamb frosting. One sixth should have blueberry frosting. And one sixth should have grape frosting. That's it. But this sketch is taking so long, I will never be defrosted in time now. Oh, let me help you with that. One sixth, that means one out of six is strawberry. One sixth is orange. One sixth is lemon. What fraction of the bar is shaded red? If you said three fifths, you are correct. Now remember, the top number is called the numerator. Numerator, yeah! And what do we call the bottom number? The denominator. Denominator, yeah! If your friend offered you one-fourth of a candy bar or one-eighth of a candy bar, which would be larger? One fourth would be larger. Remember when the denominator cut the candy bar into fourths? Then he cut it into eighths? When he cut the candy bar into more equal pieces, each piece got smaller. What would be larger? One third or one sixth? One third. This one has two-thirds and three-fourths. This one seems tricky. Not so tricky when you draw a picture. Here's a bar model of two-thirds. Two-thirds of the bars shaded in. Next to it is a bar model of three-fourths. Three-fourths of the bar model is shaded in. Now which one is larger? Three-fourths is larger than two-thirds. So I would put a less than sign in between them because two-thirds is less than three-fourths. You're such a smart girl. Howdy, greenhorns. I'm Math Dylan. We're gonna have a little quick draw contest to see who's faster at mathematics, me or you. Here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna have two fractions above my head and you have to decide what goes between them. Greater than, less than, or equal sign. Are you ready? Get set, not yet. Drop.
Did you get greater than? If you did, you're right, because three six is greater than one fourth. Whoopee ding dang! Woohoo! If you got that right, then you're faster than a rattlesnake on roller skates. I'm going to get you next time. <laughs>
is Mr. Loudmouth. Mr. Loudmouth ran 49 meters out of 100. His score is 49 hundredths. And who is the winner? The winner of the 100 meter dash is Janet. Congratulations. You gotta go back. Okay, all right, all right. Eight tenths. Don't your students deserve the chance to laugh while they learn? Order the Math Park Fractions and Decimal Series today. <laughs>